All right, it's time to do the speed adjustment on this Technics SL5. Uh, this is the side, this is the front, and this is the rear back here, just so that you you know you've got the orientation of um, basically where these holes are. So this is the 45, so that's towards the rear of the machine, and the 33 and the third is towards the front. So you have to adjust the 45 first, and then the 33 and the third. So what I'll do is I'll get my little uh, Arduino flasher and we'll get the speed check disk and we'll set it all up and uh, we'll start adjusting. Basically what I'll do, instead of using a jig or anything fancy, basically I'll just overhang this side of the player just over the table just so that we can, uh, you know, basically get, get to the adjustment screws and, uh, you know, we'll just show you what's happening from the top. Okay, well let's give this a go. So we're looking at the uh, the inner ring there, and we want to try and get that to to be nice and stable if we can. <clears throat> Okay, that's pretty much perfect. So, what we'll do, let's uh, just stop that for a second. And we'll put it on 33 and 50, 45, 60, so 50, 33, so it's this ring here that we want to focus on. Okay, let's press start. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I think we're done. All right, well, it's nearly time to wrap up this project. Really, all that's left to do is I need to stick it uh, in the lounge room, play some records, see how it goes. Uh, just ensure that it's uh, starting in the right position and it's playing all the way through. There is an adjustment, it's located just about there behind, actually it's right there. There's a screw and you can just move it a little bit and that adjusts your um, start position. Uh, it, I think it actually me mechanically moves the stopper so that when it stops, it stops where it should. For the time being I think it's actually okay because when it starts I think it advances just a slight little bit and then it drops. So I'm pretty confident that this is going to be okay. Everything has gone together, you know, I think quite nicely. Um, I haven't had any particular dramas with this. Uh, everything's just seemed to work. So I, I know there were some questions about certain uh, behaviours, uh, things just moving forward or playing through or dragging and I don't know. I, I haven't really had that issue so I'm not sure what I can tell you aside from the fact that perhaps the arm's not going down far enough or for some reason it's getting stuck in this sort of position where if it's triggering that uh, sensor it's just going to keep keep advancing because uh, yeah that's the way it's built so what else to say about it you know, I've made a bit of a repair to that scratch. It uh, shows up more actually under this light on camera than in real life most of the time. There was a big scratch along here which I managed to polish out. I've put a small one back in, so that needs to come out. I've made a repair to these controls. Um, that's a new technique that I've basically come up with in the last week. So 
we'll see how long that lasts and whether it's actually as, as good as I hope it is. So anyway, if it uh, survives a, a week or two of me mucking around with it, then uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. Um, and then, you know, we can stick it up for sale. The power on off, that uh, polished up nicely, but yeah, these were just so pitted and bad. It was just disgusting. So that's where I think we'll probably leave it. There's not really much point in going through everything else. Um, you know the adjustment screw is back there if you've got a, a little bit of trouble with this starting and stopping. Um, we've mentioned before that you've got a screw here that you can adjust for, you know, setting, the, you know, this distance here. And that I think actually affects mostly your end performance. But regardless, uh, you know it's all there. You've got if you've got the service manual um, plus these videos, I'm pretty sure you're going to be okay with uh, you know tackling one of these, provided you know you don't have you know monkey hands. You know you you've got a bit of finesse about it. So just be careful, and uh, I think that's where we're going to wrap this up. Thank you.